In today's video, we're going to be talking about the spot price of silver dropping down a little bit and potentially capitalizing on the opportunity. And I'm also going to be going live tonight in the VIP club around 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Link in the description if you want to join me. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great, and staying safe. It's a great day to have a great day. Today, I wanted to talk about silver and the recent spot price drop we've been seeing this week so far. We're going to get into it, but really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also, subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there. Go check it out. The link will be in the description. And if you want to get some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel, I would really, really, really appreciate it. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. But today is Wednesday, May 5th. 2021 it's currently 54 degrees and it's been raining all day but once again i'm filming the video outside regardless because why be inside when you can be outside so i know the audio is not going to be absolutely perfect but it doesn't have to be perfect you can hear every word i'm going to say the current spot price of silver as i'm recording the video is 26 dollars 42 which means it's down by seven cents and the spot price of gold, as I'm recording the video, is $1,783.90, which means it's actually up $4.90. The current gold to silver ratio, as I'm recording the video, is about 1 to 67 right now. Head on down to the comments and let me know what the current spot price is for you as you're viewing the video. I'm always curious because after all these numbers that I'm sharing, as I'm recording the video, not as I'm editing, posting, or as you're watching. So let me know. So today I wanted to talk about the recent spot price drop that we've been seeing. It's not by very much. It's by pennies, nickels, and dimes. But this week, when the market opened up, we climbed up a little bit. Climbed up just over the $27 an ounce mark. And I'm talking about spot price, by the way. I'm not talking about stack price, which is the out-the-door grand total premium included price tag. That's what I call stack price. Spot plus about five. The spot price went up on Monday as expected because that's just what the spot price does. It's constantly fluctuating. The volatility is all over the place. It's been that way since the creation of the dollar bill. That's just the way it goes. But even though we saw a minor Monday jump, by the time Tuesday came around, which was yesterday, as up as silver went on Monday, it came right back down by Tuesday. And here we are Wednesday, one day later, and it's down even more. Only by seven cents, so not by a whole lot. But two red days in a row for the beautiful white metal. And I gotta tell you, nothing makes me happier than the red days. I love the red days. I know a lot of people out there are trying to make a quick buck. I know a lot of people out there are trying to get rich quick. If you're using silver to try to get rich quick, uh, I hate to be the one to tell you this, but you're probably playing the wrong game. I think you stand a far better chance of buying lottery tickets. Silver is not used to get rich. Silver is used to store value, which is why I love the red days. I love when the spot price and the stack price is on a little bit of a decline because that means I can acquire even more silver for a smaller dollar amount. The conversion that I'm making, getting rid of my fiat currency glorified IOU debt note dollar bills in exchange for real true honest money, I can get a better bang for my buck. I can get more money for my currency and I can store my dollar bills in something that was designed to preserve wealth for the long term for a slightly smaller price tag. So the red days make me happy. Why is that? It's because I'm still in acquisition mode. So if you're someone like me that's trying to stack silver, if you're someone like me that's actively converting your dollar bills into silver, you know exactly what I'm talking about. The red days are fantastic. Why would we want to pay full price when we can get it on sale, when we can get it for a slight discount? especially if you visit the local coin shop because odds are your local coin shop 
has far better deals than a lot of these online precious metal dealing websites. Now, the online precious metal dealing websites are incredible for a variety of different reasons. They're absolutely far more convenient than having to take time out of my day to drive on over to the coin shop. It's not that far of a drive. But the websites, just a couple clicks from my phone or my computer, and boom, a couple days down the road, silver's in the mailbox. It's convenient, it's easy, it's quick. But if you support the local coin shop, you're simultaneously supporting a small business. And nothing makes me happier than supporting small businesses. I consider myself to be a small business, and I'm always appreciative when someone supports what I have going on. So I always like to return the favor and support small businesses. And also, I know you didn't ask for it, but I'll give you my opinion anyway. I think small businesses are the backbone of the entire economy. Moving forward, I also wanted to talk about what my next precious metal pickups are likely going to be. So first things first, I did just order, actually I pre-ordered, the brand new 2021 Type 2 American Silver Eagles with the brand new design. I picked up a handful of those, so those should be arriving within the next month, month and a half, potentially, sometime between late June and hopefully mid-July. Hopefully. I have no idea. They'll get here when they get here. I'm not really all that concerned. But I'm not going to sit around waiting for those to arrive to be my next addition to the stack. Absolutely not. I'm going to be picking up as much 90% silver from the local coin shop as I can, as I've been doing. I always try to stop by the local coin shop I would like to do it every week. Unfortunately, I really don't have the ability to make it there every week. But maybe two times a month, stop by the local coin shop. Just pick up a handful of 90% silver. That's just what I like to do. Nine times out of ten, they're quarters. Even when I used to get my silver online a majority of the time. Now I'm not getting any silver online. I made an exception for these new silver eagles because I have no other way of getting them. But all year so far, I think even late last year, I stopped ordering silver online. Completely cut it off. I'll pick up gold online. Absolutely. But the premiums on silver online, eh, it's just too far out of my comfort zone. Why pay 6 to $15 over spot per troy ounce when you can pay four, five, maybe six dollars over spot per troy ounce at the local coin shop at a small business. So that's just what I like to do. And you could break down the premiums even more by picking up some 90% junk constitutional silver, whatever you want to call it. That right there has pretty much been my go-to for pretty much the last year. I've been focusing incredibly hard on 90% silver fractional coins government minted coins on a fractional level quarters dimes half dollars aka one sixth of a troy ounce one fourteenth of a troy ounce and one third of a troy ounce approximately i think 90 percent is an excellent way of not only breaking down the premiums but if you're stacking for weight and you can get your hands on a large quantity of 90 percent it makes for Potentially the most convenient silver you could ever even imagine because in such small denominations, especially the silver dimes, one fourteenth of a troy ounce because it takes about a dollar forty face value to equate to a troy ounce of silver. One fourteenth of a troy ounce coins. You can so easily break a troy ounce or make change for a larger denomination piece of silver if you absolutely needed to or even if you just simply wanted to. So that's what I really like about the 90%. Not to mention, it's recognizable anywhere you go, anyone on the planet that understands precious metals knows exactly what a US pre-65 90% silver quarter diamond half dollar is. They know exactly what they are. They're popular. They're recognizable. They're trusted. They're respected and they're in demand. And you can get them for a lower premium than some of these other coins. Oftentimes you can get them for a lower premium 
in some of these rounds and bars. So that's just what I've been focusing on, which is actually kind of funny because I went the end of 2017, all of 2018, and most of 2019 really not enjoying 90%. I was never really that big of a fan of 90%. I began to implement it into the stack in 2019 and still wasn't that big of a fan of it. 2020, I really started to embrace it, and here we are in 2021. And <laughs> for the most part, that's really all I stack nowadays. And... It's not even by force. I genuinely like 90% now. So that's really what I'm going to be focusing on for the foreseeable future. As much 90% as I can get my hands on. Maybe some 10 ounce bars from time to time. I still want to get that RCM bar. Maybe a Silvertown bar, Britannia bar, and a couple of others. But my priority right now, 90% silver. And I'm also going to be prioritizing gold as well as I've been saying for the last couple of months. I need to beef up my gold position. The amount of gold I have in comparison to the amount of silver that I have, as far as I'm concerned, it's almost laughable. I need to get more gold, but I also need to get more silver. So I'll be getting more of both. I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic, what you're focusing on right now. And if you're gonna be capitalizing on the little bit of a spot price drop we're seeing this week on the precious metals. And if anybody's interested in joining the Precious Metals VIP Club, it's where I can do things on my own terms. Not on YouTube's terms. My terms. I'm hosting privately held live streams. They're smaller and easier to manage. I will be going live tonight around 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come hang out. I'm also posting exclusive VIP-only adventure vlogs. New one coming on Saturday. I'm also doing giveaways, discounts, personalized promo codes, shout-outs, Deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale on a variety of different websites. And of course, you can watch all of my videos early and commercial free. Come join the Precious Metals VIP Club. It'll be the first link in the description. You're invited. I'd be happy to have you. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to hit that subscribe button like a Karen hits a bus window. Also subscribe to my second channel which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. A bunch of brand new videos over there. Just posted one about ordering silver and gold online, one about teaching your kids about silver and gold, one about the tech stock sell-off we've been seeing, one about recovery stocks, one about the credit card crackdown, and a bunch of others. Go check them out. The link will be in the description. Trying really hard to hit. 3,000 subscribers. We just hit 2,000, and I appreciate that. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products t shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations such as the recently released Kraken Stackin' t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug, inspired by the beautiful two-ounce silver Kraken coin, which, by the way, is helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for ocean cleanup charity organizations at no additional cost to you. It comes out of my pocket, not yours. And, of course, last but not least, the brand new DYDSS Karen Free Zone t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug. My name is not Karen. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know once again, what are your thoughts on everything that I shared in today's video? Are you going to be capitalizing on silver now that we're at two red days in a row? We're seeing a little teeny tiny microscopic drop. I would not call this a pullback, by the way. I would not call this a significant dip or anything massive or anything dramatic. I just got excited because I saw a second red day in a row. And I plan on hopefully picking up some more 90% silver next chance I get. But I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know. Are you going to be capitalizing on the opportunity? Are you focusing a little bit more on gold? instead and what are your next precious metal pickups going to be 
Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.